we are at Ho Chi Kai Food Street, which is one of the most popular night markets in all of Ho Chi Minh City. We've been eating a lot of pho and banh mi's, but we're excited to try something new, so let's go check it out. This street is a flower market by day and it's supposed to turn into a street food market by night. But so far we haven't seen any street food yet. There's some banh mi's. That sure is street food. I'm hopeful because it is supposed to be one of the most popular places you can get street food here in the city. We are starting to get a little concerned because while we were seeing a lot of really, really beautiful flowers, we weren't seeing very many food vendors. So we ended up going down one of the side streets and I think we found what we were looking for. I'm seriously contemplating trying the whole quail but I don't have the courage just yet so maybe later oh those I want to try these so that's oh, yeah. the that's this right here okay so we just ordered ram bop they look really good it's some sort of fried spring roll I have no idea what's in them but they look really tasty so we're gonna try it out and it looks like she's giving me some chili sauce which I'm very excited for yeah, um, thank you. Come on. Oh, do you want a drink? <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's get. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, okay. She says it's the best. Should we do it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Come, Come on. on. <laughs> Is that chicken? Wow, the Vietnamese are amazing salespeople. So we got our ram bap and we asked to sit at one of these little tables and then immediately we had another menu for this drink that we ordered. I have no idea what it is. We got another menu handed to us and I think we ordered come fried on, chicken. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Oh wow, that's beautiful. So mmm, I think it smells like passion fruit mango, no. It smells like mango and tea. Let's try this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Delicious. It's so good. It's very, very sweet, but it's really good. Oh I'm interested. I have no idea what's in them. I hope it's not seafood. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Really good. I don't really know how to describe the flavor. It's very crispy and it tastes savory, but I honestly don't know how to explain it. Looks like maybe corn? I don't know. I don't know what any of this stuff is. <laughs> it's really good though. You want to try it? You'll probably be better at describing it than I will. It doesn't seem like there's any meat in there, but I don't know. There's definitely meat in it. It looks like pork. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a crispy pork wonton. Mm. That's tasty. So this was 25,000 dong which is about a dollar. 35,000 dong, which is about a dollar 50. And the other thing we've got, it looks kind of like chicken. Is that chicken? Well, I mean, I, it is chicken, but it's 40,000 dong. All of that together was 100,000 dong. I can math. Okay, so this is apparently a fried corn roll. I don't need to fall in love with any more spring rolls. But I did. <laughs> Try and not drop it this time. So this is what we got. I don't know what it's called. I pointed to it on a menu. But it's chicken, which is ga, and it looks like it's covered in kind of like a chili sauce, and then they top it with mayonnaise, which seems very popular. Maybe that's the French influence. Mmm. Mm, super good. I thought it was gonna be a little bit crispier, but it's not, but it's spicy. It would remind you of like general Sao chicken. It's really, really tasty. There's sesame seeds on it as well. It tastes like it's probably leg meat or thigh meat. It's very tender though. Mm-hmm. I need to find out what this is called. This is delicious. Let's try this chicken or ga. Oh, it's huge meme. That is really good. You're right, it's very tender. Oh yeah. It is spicy. It definitely like takes a second. Wow, that is really good. The flavor is amazing. Super, super tender. I like the mayonnaise surprisingly. Yeah, it's not smelt like the mayonnaise. Yeah. Mm. 
That is really nice. <laughs> good recommendation so far. Yeah, so far I love eating it. Yeah, it's really good. I don't know what anything is. I wish I had had like a, we should have done a street food tour yeah. before we came here just so we had some idea of what we were ordering, but this is kind of fun too, so I'm not mad about it. Yeah, that's probably the best part. <laughs> So far this street is awesome. There's so much cool food and these delicious looking spiral potatoes that I keep trying to talk myself out of getting because they're not really adventurous at all, but they just look delicious. Snails, huh? So many different kinds too. What? It's a little cotton candy machine. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, how do I try these? So they take these little eggs and they fry them and then they fill them with like pork and chives and stuff. Oh, yeah, those are the things that we were talking about. <laughs> are they? I can't remember what they're called. Can I try them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. of the evening. Yeah. I don't know. No, no. Got my chopsticks here. These are like little pancakes with quail egg and pork and scallions, I guess. I'm gonna try one by itself and then there's chili sauce and there's this other stuff to add. I don't know what this is though either. Oh, that's definitely fish sauce and like daikon radish and then this is lettuce and basil. I don't even need these chopsticks. What am I doing? Yeah. Mm. Very simple, but very well seasoned. And the outer edge has a good crisp to it. And then the pork tastes like a minced pork dumpling filling, basically. They're really good. Try one with some pork and some egg, maybe. <laughs> Trying all kinds of new things tonight. I don't think I've ever had anything that I'm eating right now. I definitely have not, but I've liked everything I've had. Ooh, that chili smells spicy. Holy crap. It's gonna tip over. It's got some eggs, some pork, some chili. Mmm. The chili adds a nice heat, but it doesn't take away from the flavor at all, which is really nice. I think I prefer it with just the pork. These are very, very good. I don't know what next. Nothing is spoken to me. What about you? Let's keep walking. All right. Sure. Oh, and they grill it. Interesting. Bound, bound you? Hi, Moi. Yeah. Hi, Moi. 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 Hi, Rolls. If I remember correctly, they're Kem Lam Thai Nguyen. That's probably completely wrong. I don't know. These look really, really good. I'm sorry we're butchering all of the names. <laughs> it looks like sticky rice. I'm guessing there's some taro in it, which is why it's purple. And then she gave us what looks like a sugar and peanuts and sesame seed mixture to dip into it. So I think I'm gonna like this. Mmm, <laughs> and she grilled it. Mmm, interesting. Mmm. <laughs> so these are really, really good. They're not nearly as sweet as I expected them to be, but they do have a really, really nice flavor. I do kind of wish there was a drizzle of condensed milk on them, but regardless, they're really good for what they are. Mmm. Am I good? Oh, so so far our total is only 165,000 dong, which comes out to just under $7 US, which is wild if you consider all the different food we've had. I've loved 
all of it so far. The smells are amazing. There's music coming from every single little stall. It's pretty small, but it's a super lively walking street. You cannot miss this if you are in Ho Chi Minh City. Let's go see what else we can find. That looks good. Hello, Chin Chao. Everyone is super nice here. I love Vietnam. Those look super good. I think that they're like a minced pork sausage. I see some of them that have cheese and some of them that don't. And they've got banh mi's on the side, which is just a French baguette. That might be in my future for sure. Can I have one with cheese, one without? Boon yao. Boon yao. Boon yao. Bao nyu. Yeah, bao nyu. That's what it is. The other one was rat naan. Come on. Tables. Yeah, of course. I feel like every table is the kids' table here. So to the best of my knowledge, based on the sign, these are called Muping Thailand. They're a minced pork sausage that they grill. I got one without cheese, and I got one with cheese. I have to imagine it's like cheddar or American cheese. It's what it looks like. And I love the fact that they put a little bit of mayonnaise with chili sauce, because it just reminds me of the U.S. where I mix a little mayonnaise with my ketchup to dip in like French fries. I've had a banh mi that had something very similar to this as the filling. So I'm hoping it's equally as delicious. Mmm, that is tasty. The mayonnaise chili sauce is like a creamy, delicious dip. Mmm, very, very simple, but cooked to perfection. They are fantastic. They're very tender, very juicy. Typically with stuff that sits out on a grill, you can let it dry out, but that is not the case with these. I'm gonna try one with cheese real quick. Mix it in there, get it all nice and... All right, look at that. Yellow, processed looking American cheese. We did one thing right. <laughs> mm. I think I prefer, honestly, without the cheese. The cheese isn't bad. It doesn't do anything good or bad for it. It just, I think the simplicity of it uh, speaks for itself. A little cucumber. Mm-hmm. This is a win. These are delicious. I almost wish I had gotten a banh mi to go along with it, but I didn't need any bread tonight. We're gonna have so many banh mi's. We're gonna have so many banh mi's in the next 30 days. That is absolutely true. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that as well. There it is, it comes in a little dish. They just cut it in half. Oh, they cut it in half. Oh, so it's like the like, like little tissue chicken kind of. Yeah. A little bit. Come thank on, you. thank you. Come on. <laughs> All right. The babyest little seats. It looks like we got a little, a little orange. It smells like a little orange. And then it looks like salt maybe? Oh my gosh, look at his little self. All right, so we bought our, our little quail. <laughs> hmm, it needs a sauce or something. And maybe that salt. Let's try and zest it up a little bit. It's very, very dry. Give it a little, I wonder if I should just like put it on there. <laughs> it's more flavorful than chicken for sure. Okay. Let's go back in. We've zested it up a bit. Give it a little dip, dip, dip. <laughs> and let's try it. I'm gonna try the wing. See what the bones are like. Oh, they're crunchy, but they're very fragile. I see what they're saying. Like, 
oh weird <laughs> it's like nothing at all I definitely prefer the flavor of chicken more but I have to wonder like if this was fresher if it wasn't just kind of sitting out if it would be better uh, it's not bad though and the bones surprisingly aren't bad I don't know that I can eat the head but that bone's a little hard Phew. It's different. Dip it in here. Ooh, almost dumped that everywhere. Oh yeah, this tastes like chicken. These bones I can't even break apart, so I'm not gonna try and eat it. I'm gonna try it with the. I don't taste any of the orange, so I'm gonna try and get some of that on there. Mmm. It's almost like very bitter orange. That's actually quite nice. I mean, it's got really good seasoning from the salt. Mm. There's a little crunch. Did you get the wing? I think I got something. I think I got what the wing was attached to, yeah. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's. I see what you mean about it being a little bit more flavorful than chicken and kind of tasting more like dark meat. Yeah. I guess gamey is the right term. I've never had quail before, but it's quite delicious. This part is what really makes it, because it's one of the more tart things I've had. It tastes like an orange, but it's tart like a lemon. It's very, it's very good. I wonder if you're supposed to eat the greens or if those are just kind of like a, a garnish. You can eat the head? No. Sure? 100%. <laughs> Are you okay? 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 Are you I just got some strawberry hang tra, hong tra. Oh, it is so amazing. It tastes like tea mm. and strawberry. Mm -hmm. And strawberry is like my favorite thing in life. <laughs> It is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. I liked the first one that we got, like, a lot. But I think I like this one better. Mm. Oh, that is so good. It's got strawberries. What do you want to do now? I've seen a couple desserts. You want dessert? Uh, yeah. I feel like this can be my dessert, but... Yeah, we can, I'm going to get a dessert. We can go get okay. <laughs> Let's go get dessert. Like the desserts is always my favorite because there's so many things I would have never thought of that just blow my mind. All right, let's go find dessert. That's what this is. Oh yeah. yeah. What's it? What is it? I came. Yeah, ice cream. I came. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? One. 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 Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. 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 Some of the most pleasant people I've ever met. Just very direct. It looks like it's avocado cream, a coconut ice cream, 
bits of fresh coconut, peanuts, and then this looks like dried fruit or something. Coconut, it's dried coconut, like fried or dried. Oh man. This is delicious. Every component is texturally very interesting. Let me get all of it together now. Mm. It's crunchy and salty and sweet and creamy. And the avocado adds this like elevated kind of flavor. Like it's green. Like that green flavor you get from avocado. I'd say green like grass, I guess, is the only way I know how to describe it. Oh wow, this is awesome. This is exactly what I was looking for. I know that I love coconut. I know that I love avocados and I know that I love ice cream. So I can't imagine that I won't love this dessert. Mmm. <laughs> is incredible. <laughs> I love coconut ice cream. I can't believe I never had it until, what, a year ago? In Mexico. Yeah, it's crazy. No, my whole life without having coconut ice cream. Okay, so we just tallied up our total and we spent 270,000 dong, which is just under $12. And that is absolutely insane when you think about how much food we got. Everything was amazing and I'm super happy we came here. Definitely recommend it.